Hi folks, Gavin here from Player TV, and today I'm going to be taking a look at MSI's flagship motherboard on the Z270 platform, Intel's Kaby Lake Socket 1151. This is the two Z270 X Power Gaming Titanium motherboard, which has tons of features. It's an overclocking focus board, but it also has all the features that you would need for gaming. Is this the best motherboard on the Z270 platform? Let's find out now in our video review. So taking a look at the MSI Z270X Power Gaming Titanium ATX motherboard, there's a lot of things I want to go through I want to talk to because it is a very extensive board and it's obviously, you know, very expensive as well. So talking about CPU support, it supports Intel Skylake and Kaby Lake desktop CPUs, so up to i7s, so you're looking at the i3s, the i5s and the i7s. Memory support. It's got four DIMM slots, which obviously has MSI steel armor on the memory slots. Now, this actually does help with insulation for extreme overclocking, which is very, very good. It's obviously very, very high spec as well in terms of memory performance as well. It supports up to 4133 megahertz, so 4133 megahertz OC on the memory. It supports up to 64 gigs, so you can have four 16 gig um, DDR4 DIMMs in there, and obviously... Um, that's very good in my opinion. It's pretty standard on Z270, but the memory overclock of 4133 support is absolutely phenomenal. Um, it comes with MSI's OC dashboard, which is this little device. So basically this allows you to control it and it's got extra buttons as well for increasing the base clock on the flight as well as increasing the frequency and steps of, um, of one. So obviously if you click the button, on the fly and you've got it enabled in the BIOS you can go from say 4.5 to 4.6 with just one click of a button you can also go straight into the BIOS as well with the click to BIOS button and as well aside from being located um, obviously at the top of the board here you can have it sitting flush up here or you can obviously plug it in through the extension cable and obviously have it plugged in however you want it uses MSI's Click BIOS 5 UEFI BIOS, which obviously is multi-award winning. I absolutely love it as well. It's very easy to use. Um, obviously, the dashboard is perfect for extreme overclocking on the fly. In terms of graphics card support, it supports NVIDIA's SLI and AMD Crossfire configurations. It does have four PCI East Time 16 slots. All of them feature MSI Steel Armor as well, which looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, as well as strengthening the DIMMs, um, the PCIe slots themselves. In terms of multi-GPU configuration, one way you're looking at times 16, two way you're looking at times eight, times zero, times eight, times zero, three way you're looking at times eight, times zero, times four, and times four, and for four way you're looking at times eight, times four, times four, times four. So that's in terms of bandwidth um, on the multi-GPU configurations. Power features, you're looking, you've got one. 8 pin CPU for your 12 volt power there from your power supply. You've also got an additional 4 pin, which obviously enables obviously more power, um, which obviously means more, more stability in terms of when you're extreme overclocking. It's got one 6 pin PCI input for extra power delivery to the PCI lanes. It's also got a full 16 phase power delivery design. And one thing that I do want to mention as well, it has flat capacitors. Now these are absolutely brilliant for insulation purposes. Um, obviously, they're a lot easier to insulate. You don't have to worry about getting the putty or whatever you're using in all the little nooks and crannies. It's pretty much just a flat cover of insulation and it should be fine. Looking at the rear I.O., you've got one PS2 keyboard and mouse port. You've got one clear CMOS button one HDMI port, one display port for your onboard graphics. You've got three USB 2.0 ports. You've got two RJ45 Ethernet ports, which is absolutely fantastic. You've got four USB one, sorry, four times USB 3.1 ports, and that they are type A. Um, you've got one USB 3.1 type A, um, and you've also got a USB 3.1 Gen 2 type C as well. You've got onboard audio, thanks to audio boost, which obviously you know, is a key feature on the Z270 with ALC Realtek ALC1220 um, audio codec. 
It's got five 3.5 mil audio jacks for 7.1 channel audio and it has one optical and spidiff out. The board itself features MSI's Mystic Lite RGB, which obviously is syncable with other MSI RGB products like some of the graphics cards that support it as well, which obviously in terms of design, it's fantastic. So the core board itself, obviously, with it being the X-Power Titanium, or should I say X-Power Gaming Titanium, it has a very strong focus on overclocking and it's got a very strong focus on um, gaming as well. So the PCB is a very, very nice silver titanium. It does look a little white, depending on the pictures that you look at online, but it is silver. Um, the heat sinks themselves are titanium looking as well, and they look absolutely brilliant. The IO Shield heat sink looks absolutely phenomenal, as so does the Southbridge. It also has the MSI Gaming Dragon in a nice black um, contrast to the silver. In terms of SATA ports, um, you've got six SATA 3 ports, you've got one Turbo U2 port, um, you know, which is brilliant, and you have three M.2 ports as well. So you can have three M.2 drives in, in RAID. Um, obviously, these will use PCI lanes on your CPU as well, so you need to obviously factor that in as well. And it also features an M.2 shield, which is designed, um, obviously, to help the thermals of your, um, you know, your M.2 SSD. Um, it does look good, but obviously, if you have got three drivers in there, I would take it off because it would obviously look better. My bad for moving the board there. So, looking around the board, you've obviously got your CPU fan header, your MOSFET heatsink, sorry. You've also got a, a BIOS flashback button atop just by the DRAM slots. You've got a pump fan, designed, obviously, for your all-in-one coolers if you're going to be using water cooling. Um, obviously, I this board is an absolute dream for, for overclocking in terms of Sub-Zero. Um, I do like to obviously mention there is two right angle, there is addition to the six right angled SATA ports, there is two straight shooting ports as well. So it does have eight in total and I would like to retract this, the six, I apologise. Looking at the buttons towards the bottom, you have a power button and a reset button. And you also have that, the same overclock, automatic overclock button, so you can crank it up to 11, press the button and it will automatically overclock your KB Lake CPU or your Skylake CPU. Cable Lake is obviously more supported, um, you know, in terms of overclocking because KB Lake yields a higher overclock in general on average more than it does on Skylake. So you've got plenty of USB free front panel support. You've got one USB free um, straight shooting header at the bottom. You've also got one right angled one next to the 24 pin ATX um, power for your motherboard. One thing as well, you do get V checkpoints with this particular motherboard. So obviously extreme overclockers can check the actual running voltages as opposed to relying on a software because software can be un unreliable. But with a digital multimeter, you can obviously, you know, be precise and, you know, precision is key when you're extreme overclocking as well. You've got obviously a LED BIOS post at the bottom, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, a lot of um, other boards like Cervasus put it at the top, but when you've got everything insulated, you've got your pot on, depending on how you have your graphics, you, how you've got your full setup for overclocking, at the bottom of the board, you, you're obviously unhindered in terms of insulation, so you don't insulate all the board up to the top PCI E slot is absolutely you know, fine. Plenty of fan headers around the board. Um, obviously this board is an enthusiast level board and it is MSI's flagship mother board. So do take that into consideration when looking, um, but especially when purchasing. This motherboard retails for around 330 to 360 pound, depending on your retailer of choice, of course. Um, as I mentioned, it is MSI's flagship um, Z270 motherboard. It's the top, the creme of the creme, and it's obviously not just one of the biggest heavy feature set motherboards on the platform, but it's also one of the most heavy feature set motherboards in the world currently. So there is obviously a lot going on um, in terms of the X-Power Gaming Titanium, but let's see how it performs in our conventional benchmarks and then we'll get back to you.
So, to conclude the NSI Z270 X Power Gaming Titanium ATX motherboard review, it's a cracking board and it's got tons of features, it's got a plethora of um, things going on, it's obviously a fantastic overclocking board as well in terms of LN2. Now I did actually manage to put the um, X Power Gaming the Z270 under LN2 just for a quick play around and I managed to hit 6 gigahertz um, even without full potting so hitting the limit of 100 minus 120 that's what I was obviously I'd cooled the pot down to and the chip down to 6 gigahertz is absolutely fantastic and this board obviously is record winning it's award winning and it's very 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 sexy as well it's probably one of the best looking motherboards I have ever seen the Obviously the X-Power Gaming Titanium, or should I say the Z270 edition of it, um, is a nice step up from the Z170 version. This board looks absolutely fantastic from the heat sinks to the full overall PCB, the silver design. Even on the back, it looks absolutely phenomenal. In terms of, you know, features, as I mentioned, it's got like 3M.2 ports, so it isn't just overclocking focused, it's very, very high, high level enthusiast as well. So if you are looking for the best board on the Z270 platform, or at least one of the best boards, one of the top three boards, um, then the MSI X Power Gaming Titanium is obviously an absolutely solid choice. It's one of the cheaper um, top end boards, so obviously Gigabyte's board costs five, top board costs 500 pounds, Asus's top motherboard, 500 pounds, MSI's flagship motherboard is around 350, 360 pounds. So there's a massive difference in price between the, the three boards. Obviously, we're going to be doing a shootout between the X Power Titanium and the Apex from Asus in terms of overclocking boards. Um, but obviously, focusing more on the MSI board itself because it is obviously the X Power review. This board is so cracking that I'm going to award it platinum. Now, obviously, Platinum doesn't go to many products, um, and it's pretty fitting. This should be called the X-Power Gaming Platinum board, in my opinion. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, so in terms of design, it ticks all the boxes. It's obviously RGB enabled as well. Um, you know, in terms of overclocking, it's absolutely fantastic. The only thing I will mention is, you know, a lot of extreme overclockers will favor, favor other boards um, with two dim slots, only for memory overclocking, but in terms of pure core frequency, the X-Power is an absolute winner. In terms of enthusiast level overclocking, so if you're going to be using all-in-one coolers, CPU coolers, you're going to be using custom water loops, then this board obviously is going to do everything any other board can do and more. It's got plenty of power delivery, it's obviously got a full 16 phase design, which you know is adequately cooled by the MOSFET heatsink. Um, yeah, and everything about this board to me screams quality. Two couple of things I'd like to mention as well before I go. Obviously, Platinum Awards is absolutely brilliant. Um, some of the accessories that come with it. So the OC dashboard, um, obviously it comes with an extender cable and you can plug it straight in. Absolute vital tool for overclocking. So if, if you're looking to get into overclocking, you're looking to get into Sub-Zero or Extreme overclocking, Obviously, the Z270 X Power Gaming Titanium is obviously a board to do that for KB Lake. Another notable feature as well is it comes with six SATA cables, but these are flat cables and they are obviously clear and they look titanium and they match the PCB of the board. So yeah, all out of the way, this board is an absolute winner. I would like to thank MSI for sending the X Power Gaming Titanium ATX motherboard in for review. I'd also like to thank MSI for making such a beautiful board. It makes it so easy to review. It's such a pleasure to review this board. Um, ob obviously, please hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, please leave a like. Please leave any feedback in the comments section below. I read all comments and I do endeavor to try and at least reply to all comments within a, at least a couple of days. It can get a little busy, especially running a website and a YouTube channel simultaneously. Um, obviously, if you are in the market for a top level board, then make sure the and you want the best one of the best boards on the um, Z270 platform. Then make sure you give um, the MSI Z270 Gaming, what well, should I say, Z270 X Power Gaming Titanium motherboard at least a consideration because it is absolutely phenomenal. I would like to thank everyone for watching, and yeah, that's me for tonight. Thanks for watching, guys, and 
or, or the morning, whatever, time doesn't matter. Thanks for watching guys and ciao for now.